Hey guys, I'm Jack Fawcett and this is the One Control Strawberry Red Overdrive. This is one of One Control's designed by Bjorn pedals. This is a great overdrive. I really like it. It's not a simulator and this is important. You know, a lot of overdrives out there are some variation of some pedal that's existed like a Tube Screamer or a Klon Centaur or, you know, a Zen Driver, or you name it. A lot of pedals out there are either emulating, a lot of pedals out there are either emulating a different pedal or an amp itself, it's an amp style drive. This is kind of neither. This is a pedal that is supposed to work both with your guitar and amp and get the really sought after sound. I would say if anything, it's a little bit more like an amp style drive than a pedal style drive. However, it's a great pedal too. It has this nice saturation, this nice compression. It has this sort of upper mid rangey snarl to it and one of the things that I like you know the drive knob is very dynamic as you heard it can go all the way up to distortion territory all the way back to completely clean boost the treble knob with the frequencies that it attacks if you turn the treble all the way up or all the way back it's not unusable and that's pretty rare for a pedal you know a lot of overdrive pedals your sweet spot is somewhere in the middle on your tone control, whether it's a treble control or, or, or a tone control or presence or, you know, whatever it's called, uh, or low cut, high cut. You heard when the treble is turned all the way up, it doesn't get that nasty, bright shrill. And when it's all the way back, it doesn't get completely dull and lo-fi. It sort of affects um, some of the frequencies in the middle. So it's really usable on either end to either extreme, which is nice because you can really tailor it a little bit better. You, you, by the tone knob, by having a more controlled frequency, I feel like it gives you more use of the tone of the treble knob here, as opposed to, again, you know, it's like running a tube screamer with the tone all the way off. That's a pretty dull sound that probably not a lot. You'd have to have a very bright sounding rig in order to run a tube screamer with that knob all the way back. That's not the case with this. This also has a low trim pot on the side. Now, it's kind of set, and I think one of the reasons, you know, there's there's three controls on the top and in these mini, mini pedals, and a lot of people don't like trim pots. I, I didn't feel the need to use it, the, the you know, the low trim pot. Um, it's got a little Phillips head right there, so you could just get a small screwdriver and adjust it if it was sounding, you know, way too bassy into your rig. I don't think you'd really have a problem with it. The way that the character of the gain sits is almost like this. Again, with that upper mid range, it almost sounds a little bit British flavored, but I, I but it's not just British. I, I think it, it's also kind of got that sort of more round American type gain. And so I just really, really like it. I liked it with humbuckers. I liked it with single coils. You know, you just heard it with a Les Paul. Next part of the clip is going to be uh, played with a Stratocaster, so you can hear it with both single coils and humbuckers. The Les Paul is loaded with Les Fertone Sky Dogs. The Stratocaster is loaded with Les Fertone 57 Les Casters. I'm playing into a Marshall Blues Breaker amp. Also using the One Control Prussian Blue Reverb to get a little bit of air underneath the signal. Check out the Strawberry Red Overdrive from One Control. Uh, you won't be disappointed. I really, really like this pedal. <laughs> 